what is force effects of force contact forces non contact forces balanced and unbalanced forces before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of conceptual lectures for free firstly let me teach you that what is force well we define force as a push a pull for example hitting a nail when you hit the nail you exert force on the nail pulling an object when you pull an object you exert force on that object pushing a chair when you push this chair you exert force on it as a result the chair is moving kicking something when you kick this punching box you exert force on it lifting something above the earth surface when you lift this dumbbell a rod above the earth surface you exert force on it thus from all these examples we learn that in our daily life we exert force on different objects in order to do different types of work we either pull objects or push objects therefore we define force as a push or pull thus when you listen or read the word force think that it is either pulling objects or pushing objects now the second important concept which a lot of people do not try to learn is the effects of force Remember that when you exert force on an object it produces five different types of effects in an object the first effect of force is that it produces motion or acceleration in an object let consider a football at rest a stationary football when you kick the football motion produces in the football in this direction now the question is that why the football moves when you kick it well it is because when you kick it you exert force on it the force produces motion in it a force changes its state of rest thus remember that force can produce motion and stationary objects are objects at rest secondly force stops moving objects consider that a fast moving football approaches toward this player a goalkeeper how can this player stop this fast moving football well he uses his both hands and exert force on it as a result he stops the fast moving football one another example is that when a fast moving car suddenly applies brakes due to applied force on the tires a car suddenly stops thus remember that force can stop a moving object thirdly force changes direction of a moving object let consider that a fast tennis ball is moving in this direction hit by your opponent now you hit this tennis ball in this direction well when you hit the tennis ball you exert force on it as a result tennis ball will move in this direction initially it was moving in this direction but due to your force it starts moving in opposite direction thus remember that force can change the direction of a moving object fourthly force increases speed of a moving object For example your car is moving at a speed of 40 meter per second now you want to speed up your car what you do well you push the accelerator as a result engine force speeds up the car thus remember that force can speed up a moving object fifthly force changes shape of an object which we also call deforming force for example let consider this empty can you exert force on this can now what happens well due to your force its shape changes or you can say its dimension changes 
such force is also known as a deforming force thus remember that force can change the shape or dimensions of an object until now we have learned that force produces motion in an object secondly force stops a moving object thirdly force changes direction of a moving object fourthly force increases speed of a moving object and fifthly force changes shape or dimensions of an object do you know that forces are divided into two types i mean contact forces and non contact forces well now what are contact forces let consider when you push this chair you need to touch the chair in order to move or to push it secondly when you pull this box you need to wrap the string around it and then you pull the string but still there is contact between you and this box thus we can say that pushing force and pulling force are contact forces without physical contact you can't push or pull objects now what are non contact forces well when you raise an object above the earth surface it experiences a downward force known as a gravitational force although there is no physical contact between the object and the earth but still the object experiences downward pull or downward force of earth's gravity thus gravitational force is a non contact force secondly magnetic force is also a non contact force thirdly electric force is also a non contact force for instance the attraction force between proton and electron in an atom hence note it down that gravitational force magnetic force and electric force are all non contact forces they either attract objects or repel objects without any physical contact at last let me quickly teach you the very important concept of balanced forces and unbalanced forces let consider that a football is present on the earth surface it rest does this stationary football experience any force or forces well the answer is yes this stationary football or this football it rest experiences two forces it experiences the downward force of gravity or gravitational force and the upward force of ground or normal force so this football experiences two forces now you may be thinking or you should ask this question if this football experiences two forces then why it isn't moving or why it isn't accelerating well let me explain it let consider that there is 100 newton force acting on this football in downward direction then at the same time there is also 100 newton force acting on this football in upward direction thus the 100 newton downward force of gravity and the 100 newton upward force of ground cancel out a balance each other i mean the net or the total force on this football is zero remember that if the net or total force on an object is zero we say that forces are balanced or we say balanced forces thus these both forces are balanced due to balanced forces or due to zero net forces this football is not moving or this football is it rest now let consider another case you kick this football the football will start moving or more precisely it is accelerated you can ask why now the football is moving well it is simply because of your kick although the vertical forces are balanced are zero but when you kick it you exert enough horizontal force on it that the net external force is no more zero 
the football therefore starts moving or it is accelerated in horizontal direction remember that when net force on object is not zero we call it unbalanced forces here is one bonus tip for you why this football stops here when you kick it in this direction and it starts moving the ground force or friction force resist the motion of this football in opposite direction this friction force resist and resist the motion of this football until it completely stops it what will happen if there is no friction well if there is no friction it will continue its state of uniform motion for example if football moves with 10 meter per second speed no friction means football will move with 10 meter per seconds ever and forever therefore remember that when forces are balanced object remains at rest like in this case a object will move with constant speed while if forces are unbalanced object starts moving or accelerates like in this case i hope that you have completely understood the philosophy of force if you have learned something new in this video then like this video and subscribe our channel for more conceptual lectures thank you very much for watching this video